Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It's November 27th, Wednesday morning, the day before Thanksgiving. And this is today's thankful carnivore report. Feel free to share this with anybody you think needs to see it and or hear it. It'll be up at Instagram TV at thankful.carnivore. It's going to be up on my YouTube page at Thankful Carnivore, Facebook at Thankful Carnivore, and via Periscope on Twitter at Stickman Bleeding. That's S T I C K M A N B S T I L L E Stickman Bleeding at S T I C K M A N B L E E D I N. It's a crazy morning. I've already been to the gym. I've had a fantastic breakfast. No fasting after yesterday's experience having to do a 12 hour fast. Not a fan of that. Mm -mm. I'll do, I'll be talking about that more in a few days though. But listen, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. And you know what? I hope each and everybody has a joyful, blessed holiday. In whatever tradition, tradition you celebrate Thanksgiving in. I hope it's a beautiful experience for you and your family. And I also recognize that for many of you, it won't be a happy Thanksgiving. And I want to extend my best wishes and prayers for you and your loved ones at this time. I'm familiar with that. I'm concerned that this is probably going to be my father's last Thanksgiving. So I've been thinking about these things. And the first thought that comes to mind is, you know, Thanksgiving. And a lot of people, especially if they're down, I know for myself, when I was depressed and mentally ill, I kind of hated Thanksgiving except for the food because I was miserable. <laughs> I was really miserable. And when you're miserable, you don't think about things, what you have to be thankful for. You're focused on the fact that you're miserable, unfortunately. And that's not an unusual or abnormal trait, to be honest. You know, it's kind of like if your arm's broken, well, what's on your mind? Your broken arm. <laughs> Duh. But even there, there's things to be thankful for. Uh, Fat Field Family, I uh, highly encourage you to check out their podcast, and Danny Vega and his wife Mara. And, and I heard Mara say once, a few months ago, something about whenever you feel like there's no hope at all, whenever you feel like that there's just no point, get you a piece of paper, something to write with, and write down five things to be thankful for. And you will be stunned at what you can come up with. First off, you're breathing, aren't you? You've still got life. Your heart's still pumping the blood through your veins. Your brain's still sending out signals. And yeah, it might not, the system might not be working right, but you still have the opportunity to improve, to heal, and to thrive. You're not on the other side of the grass yet. Having life is something to be thankful for. Who in this world loves you? Somebody does. Somebody has at one time, even if there's nobody presently living that you believe loves you. Somebody did at one time. That's something to be thankful for because you are worth loving. We all are in our own individual ways. There are dozens and dozens of things in our lives that we have to be thankful for. I'm thankful that the street lights work so I could go from my house to the gym and not get crushed by any one of a couple hundred thousand cars that run up and down the roads here in Jacksonville every day. I'm really thankful for that. I really am. And I know that light doesn't love me. I know it doesn't have feelings for me. But I'm damn thankful it's there because it enables me to do some things I need to do. I need to go to that gym on every third day, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. I need to move those metal plates around. 
And the other days I go, I need to go then too for the walk, for the, for the stair uh, climber, for the tanning that I enjoy. I need to do those things. And I'm thankful that I could do so safely. So that's just an example. That, that's an inanimate object. I, it's, it has nothing to do with emotions or whatever. But it's something to be thankful for. I hope I'm explaining this okay. I'm, uh, I'm still a little off kilter. I'll be honest with you. Yesterday's fasting kind of, kind of knocked me off my 100% down to about 94, 95% efficiency. It, uh, it's not been a pleasant experience since that, but I haven't had a bad day. My depression hasn't come back. It's not the end of the world. I know why I'm feeling that way, but you know what? I'm very thankful that I don't have to do that again. And I probably won't go do any more fasting for lab work for, unless I suddenly come down with something. Now, if I'm gonna be, if I fall ill and need to have lab, blood, blood, blood work done and need to take a fasting blood test, then I'll do so. But that's really gonna be the only time because not eating when I'm hungry just doesn't work for me. And uh, it, there's carryover from one day to the next. But you know what? It's okay. Still on the right side of the grass. My depression's still gone. There's no anxiety. There's no insomnia. I have an enormous amount of things to be thankful for. And I'm not going to run through the list. I'm thankful most of all because I know the Lord loves me. Yeah. My wife loves me. And really, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, for me, that matters most, followed by my health. Those three things are level of importance to me. And for that, I'm always going to be thankful that I figured it out, that that's, those are the three things that are the base of the most important. I'm not, I'm repeating myself without making much sense, and I apologize for that. I just want everybody to understand Thanksgiving is always a time for reflection. It's always a time to ponder the good things that you have in your life if you just take the time to open your eyes and see them. And I want to encourage each and every one of you this Thanksgiving to take that time for reflection, to take the time to catalog in your own head on a piece of paper, whatever works best for you, the things you have to be thankful for. Let your wife, your husband, your best friends, let them know, hey, I appreciate you. I'm thankful you're here in my life because that's putting good out into the world that's going to come back to you a hundred times over. Don't doubt me on that. I've seen it. It's happened to me too many times just this year alone. Um, I want you to enjoy your holiday. Please be safe traveling. I believe that it is the, the most crazy travel day of the year, this and the Friday after Thanksgiving. I may be wrong. It might be the, uh, Christmas Eve. I can't remember. It's one of those two holidays. It's, it's the world, the craziest time to travel in America. But just be safe. Now, for you carnivores, I don't need to tell you what to do. You already know. If you're going to a family member's house to eat, you're going to take your meat with you if you need to. Maybe your family is going to be accommodating. Some families are. Some aren't. Some are still looking at you like you've grown a third head or something. I understand. Believe me, I understand. But I want you all to have as good a time as possible. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. Take time out of your day to watch me run off into the mouth. For you who are understanding on days when maybe I'm not at the top of my game like this morning. I appreciate your kindness, your consideration, 
your appreciation, and most of all, I appreciate those encouraging notes and messages that you all send me every day. They're a true blessing in my life, and I am exceedingly thankful for each and every one of them. I don't know if I'm going to do a Periscope tomorrow or not. It's unlikely, but I might. Because it's Thanksgiving, and you're not going to be paying attention to Twitter that much or to what I have to say because it's Thanksgiving. Enjoy yourselves, my friends. Be blessed. Do the things you know you need to do to take care of you always. And never forget. Be thankful. Have a wonderful holiday. See you Friday for sure.